What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stalker. Clear sky, my name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we do a mop-up operation. We're trying to finish up the military over here, but they are actually tough cookies in this game. They are nasty. I mean, they've got enough HP to soak 10-15 rounds if they're not armor-piercing. they got guns and accuracy this time around. They are some scary dudes with whom you do not mess. And so I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and flank their position while I wait. We've pretty much got them isolated now, so I should be able to swing around this way. There's only like one or two guys left. And if I can flank their cover, I think we'll be alright. I mean, it's possible I may not be able to flank the cover just because these guys are a little bit aim body from time to time. There he is right there. I would like to have a good position from which to shoot him. There we go. That'll work. There you go. Don't fire back at me. See, that's how they performed in the first game. They would just stand there and you would just like shoot them and they'd be like, Oh my god, I'm being shot at right now. How shall I ever respond to this phenomena? In this game, they appear to be quite a bit more aggressive, quite a bit more accurate. There's a guy in the bushes out here and I don't know where he is. Nope! You cease and desist, sir or madam, I can't really tell. You're wearing military clothing. It sort of just like unifies everybody. Eh. There's somebody in these bushes too. There's a red dot over there and I can't see it. And he can see me and it's very, very upsetting. The AI can shoot at you through bushes but you can't see them. It's, it's messed up. The bushes should actually act as a blind for the AI too if you wanted it to be accurate but they don't. Oh my god, there might be more than I thought there were. Okay. So we may not be done here yet. We may still have things to accomplish. I'm going to try and get out of here then. I thought there was only like one guy left. But there appears to be two or three. Throw down with a quick save real fast because that's just the way things go in this game. Especially since the AI has no problem just like corner camping until you walk around a corner and then wasting you. It seems like they fall back on that strategy pretty... Oh, nope. Standing on top of the tire and he is done with my shenanigans. He's also not lit up on my radar for some reason. Are you guys like coming down the hill or are you all dead? I don't know. I thought they were all... Oh, they're all dead as hell. Okay, so I'm all by my lonesome now. I don't suppose I have any armor-piercing rounds left. Nope, not a single armor-piercing round left. It's just me against the army. Alright, well, let's try and find some high ground then. And we'll try and get to a shootout that at least is advantageous for us and not them. Because they like to hang out in buildings and shoot me when I walk around corners. I think if we can get some high ground here, we might be alright. Well, maybe. I don't know. This dude's looking a little bit limpy. Why is he not shooting back? Do I have him outranged? Oh, I killed him with a bullet to the shin. Who knew? You could say that it was his Achilles shin. Got that dude right there. This is a pretty good spot to shoot from. All things considered, this is a very nice tactical spot. I like it a lot. Who's shooting? You better knock that shit off. Yeah, I shoot back. Ooh, got him right in the face. Hell yeah. That's the shot that I was looking for. I feel like we're the last man. Nope, oh, there's another one left too. I bet he's going to come out here. Maybe I'll luck into killing him with that explosion. Doesn't look like it though. I've got hiccups of fear right now. It's pretty awful. I don't like it when this happens in the middle of an episode. Oh, there better not be dogs behind me. That would suck if nature came to the rescue. There's one in there, and I don't want to go in there, because every time I go in there, I get wasted by some guy hiding behind a truck somewhere. It's just like playing multiplayer. Just always paranoid. I never want to go into any populated area, because you know there's just that guy sitting there on top of a roof, just like, eh. I occasionally indulge those rooftop sniper fantasies when I play shooter games, but in general... I don't want anything that you have. If you had medical supplies, I might be a little bit more inclined, but... Where is this dude? Oh, he wasted me last time the exact same way, too. Oh, there's two. You hear them? They both sounded off right there. They're inside that building. Okay. 
So now it becomes a I know he's behind me, by the way. I know there's going to be somebody that's like, he's right behind you. They appear to have a lot of trouble with this right here. I don't think they know how to deal with this rock. Got him. There we go. I saw that tracer go out and I was like, yep, that's the one right there. The chosen tracer. You are the chosen tracer. Now we shall write a song about you. Power metal. Let's see. I like power metal, by the way. That's my favorite genre of metal. I do like thrash. Like, my favorite band of all time is Megadeth. But I very much enjoy power metal, too. Stuff like Camelot, Blind Guardian, bands that have lots of songs that are super victorious and bard sounding. I don't know. I enjoy. You better get shot. Yeah, I think I have them outranged, actually, is what it comes down to. So the nope, don't have them outranged. Never mind. He shoots back. All right, you want to bust back? You better stop it. You better sort it out. Since I've got the high ground, I shouldn't need to aim too much higher, but the accuracy on this gun is suspect. God damn, there's such... There's such... That's the army dealt with. With his buddy's dead, Kalecki knows he ain't got a prayer. That army rat is gonna change his tune now, that's for sure. Merc, head back to the base. God. You would not believe, like seriously. What's going on? These guys are bullet soaks in this game. Not just like bullet soaks, but ridiculous bullet soaks. Like they could take a lot of rounds before they go down. I don't actually want any of the Makarov stuff. I don't think that's going to be that helpful. But I will pick all the AK-47s off these guys and take them back because I think they sold for like 100 rubles a piece. So the military, actually those are going to be very important too. I need those as well. I have like no supplies right now when it comes to my long-term survival. And what was up with that guy that was back behind the log that got back up? You're not supposed to get, what is that? Flash drive with data on balancing automated parts. Better balancing of the mechanisms working parts allows the weapon's rate of fire to be significantly imp Okay. I don't think my gun has a USB on it, though. It'd be nice if it did, but I don't think it does. I'm probably just going to dump some of these max too. Because I think we're pretty much at the top of our game right now with regards to our weight. Probably drop those, too. I don't think they're going to be that useful. Did I get your stuff? Okay, so I got your stuff. What have you got for me? What I'm mostly interested in are military supplies, military med kits, and things like that. Those tend to be the most helpful utilities that we can find on these, because in this game, the medical supplies seem to be in very, very short supply, I guess. They seem to not have many. So every time I go into one of these engagements, I end up using a whole bunch of medical supplies because my armor isn't very good. And then, moral of the story, they end up winning the battle of attrition. So we got you... You guys don't really have anything that I want. You're just kind of dead as hell. Is there anything in here? Like, there was some loot in here when you played the first game, but I don't know if the second game's going to be quite as... I don't think it opens like that. Well, actually, shotguns tend to get it done. I blasted one of these with a shotgun and it opened right up. Anybody got a shoddy around here? I guess not. Can you still loot those? Oh, you can. They used to be really heavy, though, from what I remember. Yeah, they were worth like a flat amount of money, but they were heavy, as I recall. Go ahead and drop you real quick. That was like the most flat drop ever. It was just like, mrink, perfect. Fell down perfectly on its end. Nothing wrong here. I don't see any of their bodies in here, but I do want to take a minute and just make sure. I like this gun a lot. I don't know what, like, I don't know what this is supposed to be, this pistol right here. It kind of, it doesn't look like a Beretta. It's kind of got like a Glockish thing going on with it, but... It doesn't at the same time? I don't know. That's a weird looking gun right here. I don't know what it's supposed to be imitating. The Fort 12 free med kit right there. Hell yeah. Free nades just in case you wanted those. Anything inside this stash? Yes, sir. Rebob. That would suck if your name was Rebob. I don't know. Because then people were like, yes, sir, Rebob, all the time. They would constantly bug you with that. In fact, I bet that's where the saying came from. There was one guy whose name was Rebob, and then. It became a saying. That's all that they had. People got used to saying, yes, sir, Rebob. Maybe he was a high-ranking military commander or something. I don't know. He constantly had to be saluted. Something had to lead to that saying, like, coming into fruition. Sometimes there's things on the roofs and, like, hidden inside the chimneys if you look around, but it's one of those things that you don't really have time to do it, like, in a YouTube playthrough. 
So like while you want to, unfortunately, like scrounging around for secrets in a blind playthrough is not always the best way to do it. However, if you've actually played the game before, I would highly recommend like when I do my Doom playthrough, for example, I try to show off everything because I have a lot of Doom experience and so it doesn't take me any extra time to show you where all the secrets are. I mean, I'm just going to do it anyways. If you're doing a Doom playthrough, you might as well hit everything. The game's like 30 years old. If you don't know anything about it now, when are you? You know what I mean? And I've been playing the game since I was like 8 years old, so... Too exhausted to walk, and now i got to wait for my stamina to go back up. It's because I'm overweight. If you're over your maximum weight, you end up draining your stamina just by normal walking. I think drinking you, and then dropping all the... Oh, those aren't even that heavy. Never mind. I thought that was going to get me out of my predicament, but nope. My predicament is just as dicky as it ever was. Alright, well I'll throw all those on the ground then. I'll just put a grip of weapons on the ground and I think we'll get up out of here. We got other objectives to take care of anyways. I might just roll with plus P rounds the rest of the game. It seems like a really, really good idea. Like, everybody in this game seems to be heavily armored. We haven't fought anybody yet that couldn't soak bullets like a champ. These guys are standing out here like Superman half the time, just like, ha, your bullets bounce. I saw a bullet bounce off of a guy in that last firefight. In the last episode, you probably saw it too. We shot him right in the face and it went bing and it bounced off of him. I'm like, damn, dude. What are they feeding these guys in the Russian military? This is terrifying. Spetsnaz ass dudes just taking out everybody. Like, I got shot 13 times in the face, but I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Pyotr got shot 24 times and he's looking great. Knocked a tooth out, though. He might have to go to the dentist. Like, my God. So, I'm going to put my gun away. Did these guys have anything to do with me? What's that black hole in the bridge? What? Man, we ain't got a clue either, but whatever we throw in there disappears. We usually throw all our trash into it to protect the environment, but then we saw piles of our trash in an anomaly in one of the tunnels. Some really weird things are happening in the zone. It's crazy. Okay. What are you guarding? We're guarding, against, uh, we're guarding the new stalker territory. Can you explain? Go to our base and ask there. I'm busy. You got anything? Oh, you got a med kit? Yeah, I'll take that, buddy. I will take your med kit right this second. Just hook it up. And then get me some rubles in here just to make this more worth my while and get my weight down a little bit because I don't think I'm going to be abandoning this gun anytime soon. I'm going to get rid of the nades because I don't tend to use them. I know some people won't agree with that decision, but I just I don't use grenades very often in this game because it's sort of lumpy and difficult to do so without getting shot in the face several thousand times, and so I just don't tend to use them. I occasionally use them if the enemy's really, really dug in, but I doubt we're going to run into that this early in the game. Let's sell off a couple more guns. We'll make 2700 off of it. That's not bad. I'll take it. 104. I mean, we got 10,000 rubles. Should be enough to get us in. The armor that I saw is like 12,500 for the next armor, so hopefully we can get that. You got a name? Dimitro Fireman. Can I help you? You can't. Okay, you got anything? I come for all of your med kits. Seriously, I need med kits crazy style. I used up everything in that last fight, and I'm not feeling good about any further firefights until I have more little boxes full of wonderful healing drugs. Back we go to turn in our quest. If you're new and you didn't watch the series as of right now and you just jumped in right here, essentially what was going on is from the first game, this whole area, there was like an anomaly. There was a emission, I guess, that kind of rearranged the entire, the entire zone. And so unfortunately, all the powers are struggling against each other, whereas before they were super settled. So as of right now, stalkers are expanding their territory. All the random like soldiers are expanding theirs. It is just a mess, and we are taking sides and trying to get shit done. Ooh, you can kind of make that rhyme if you wanted to. Get shit good. Get shit good. See what being stubborn gets you? Your friends are dead, and you're still here. No one's coming to save you. Tell me where you hit the case. Okay, I tell you, bastards. It's in a house not far from here. In the end. Would you look at that? The little shit cracked like an egg. <laughs> the stash coordinates are in your PDA. Take what you find to Sidorovich. He's waiting. Cool. I'm just glad that everybody's had a happy resolution. Well, except for the soldier guy who I butchered all of his friends. I kind of feel like a dick whenever I play this game because this is very much one of those... That's what I like about Russian writing is Russian books and Russian games in general. They seem to be a lot more about the gray areas. They seem to be a little bit darker and a little bit just more... Realistic, I suppose, than a lot of like other random books and lores. I don't know. That's one of the reasons I like Stalker. It's one of the reasons I like to play Metro. It just feels so much more gray and just nasty, and everything is lost and everything is failed, and there's no such thing as morality. You just kind of like do whatever the hell you want, and nobody judges you. Can you do anything with this MP5? A bolt mechanism? Those are actually pretty cheap upgrades.
Let's go. Although this might have been developed by a Ukrainian developer, now that I'm recalling. I could be wrong right there. It might be developed by a Ukrainian developer. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. We can replace that with 545. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't think we'll ever find any ammo if we do that. There are some nice little upgrades we can get in here, though. What can I do for you? So, flatness. I don't know exactly what that accomplishes. I think it might maintain damage over long range. It says flatness plus 50%, but it increases muzzle velocity. So, I'm thinking it might... I don't know. It either you upgrade something keeps the stray you? from going up and down when you fire at a range, so you're always firing kind of straight, but maybe off to the side a little bit. I don't know. It's a very, very weird wording right there. What's he got? An operating rod. RPM lowered. I could definitely use less recoil. The recoil has been killing me on this thing when I go auto with it. What do these do? Barrel mods? You can just like take those out even further, so you go flatness and then... So you need other upgrades in order to... What does that one do right there? An improved mechanism balance. You can have a higher rate of fire, so it'll be like our gun from the first game. I thought I already bought that one, but I don't know if you have to hit everything in the front layer before... Oh, no, it says what it's linked to. Okay, when you mouse over, it lights up the other ones. So when you want to get an upgrade, it tells you which ones you need. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if I take this one right here, it lowers my recoil, lowers my rounds per minute, but then it would unlock flatness right there. And then we could take the second flatness down here, and then we should be firing pretty true. Yikes. I might need my... How's my armor looking, too? Is my armor in need of repairs? Here, repair that for me. Yeah, 29 rubles. That'll be fine. Does that need to be repaired? 210. Yeah, just make sure it's functioning properly. Keep all my guns squared away because I don't want to be in the middle of a firefight and end up with just, like, wang on hand, if you know what I mean. This guy, he didn't cycle his inventory. I was hoping that he would, but he didn't. I don't know if I need to carry around this many assault rifle rounds, but... What are these? FMJs? I'm going to get rid of the 9x18s because I always have way too many of those. And then I'll probably hold on to the AK rounds for right now because I go through those pretty quickly. Alright, well I don't know if the upgrades are worth it. Somebody that's played the game before will have to weigh in and be like, Yeah, you should be upgrading your guns instead of buying new stuff because I don't know. What does this guy have? What's up with you? We're sitting around keeping guard over the camp and all with all kinds of enemies close by. Where can you lead me to? A couple of places, but keep in mind if I lead you to a place I know a safe path there and I charge by distance. Where did you want to go? Oh wow, he can take us quick out there. Okay. Well, let's go get Sidorovich's package first. I like how they added a fast travel system to the game where you could talk to people. Just kind of like teleport around. That was much needed. And while you could mod it in in the first game, we should probably go get the lucky detector over there. What are those? Mutants? Bandits? The loot is inside a bandit infested place. How do I know? Alright, well, let's go get the loot first, I guess. Is that the house over there? Is that the one that they were... Okay, so it's right across the street? It was actually that close, and you guys just never took the time to search for it, huh? Why are my guns not coming out? Because they're not equipped. That's why. I see lots of equips all the time, but that's because I read on Reddit. Let's see here. We got a bandito right there. I'm not that afraid of these guys, because they're actually not that big of a threat. I'm just going to try and engage from a distance since I have the advantage. I see no reason to put myself on even footing with these dudes. And anybody that's in the business of advancing on us has got to go first. So I'll put rounds on them. we got a couple of dudes over here. That guy's got an MP5, so he's got to go too. Thought we just nailed a headshot right there, but maybe not. I need you to go, pal. I need you to go right now. Well, don't use the army med kit. Use the red ones first. There we go. Got him. It looks like they added some new death animations, too. That guy's firing from pretty deep, so I don't think he's going to get me with a shotgun. I'm going to go ahead and rotate. Just kind of keep them on their toes. Oh, there's another one over there. I need him first. And I kind of just got to wait for R and Jesus to favor me right now when it comes to the spread of the round. There we go. I got another one down right there. All right. A little bit of fire coming in right there. But since we have the advantage at range, we should be fine. To the point where we can play this a little bit risky if we wanted to. Got him in the shoulder. Ah. 
I love those little bullet spray things, like when the bullet hits the wall, how it throws like random detritus and smoke up. I love that. It looks so cool when you fire guns in games and it does that. I don't like it when games just have like a static little ping when the bullet hits the wall and it makes like a little flash. I like it when it shoots the dust. That's really, really awesome. It looks like the AI is actually programmed to move once they get shot. I think that's how, ooh. I think that's how it works anyways. It says we got something hidden off this way, but up until I know that we've cleared out this camp. Don't want any of that. You should always search the bodies though, because sometimes you get PDA entries that'll give you stashes. So I would always suggest that you at least open every single body and take a look. That's worth money, don't really care about that. I think we got just about everybody. There may be another one in here somewhere, but... He hasn't fired at us through the window, so maybe I'm wrong. Very carefully coming through here. The AI is fond of corner camping. So that means we have to be very vigilant in checking our corners. That's usually when they get me anyways, so he said it was up in the attic. Hopefully they don't play any cruel tricks on me and put somebody in the attic. That would suck. Break these crates. What you got for me? I know you got something up in here. Nothing? Nothing but wood fragments. Well, damn, son. Now I'm just... Ooh, a weapon repair kit. Oh, I guess it's not a weapon repair kit. It's got the same graphic as the weapon repair kit, though. Are those in this game? Do they have weapon repair kits in the second game? In the first game, you had to mod them in. I don't think they were actually in the vanilla game. And if they were, they were rare enough to where I never saw one. But once I used the complete mod, they started to show up every now and again. Sometimes you ended up with nine or ten of them in your inventory just by pure luck and happenstance. All right, let's run all the way back to... This is Valerian. Where on earth have you been for the last two days? We got a sticky situation here and every gun counts. Well, we can't get through. Anomalies are blocking the way, and we're trying to find a way around them. Oh, shit. Who is that? Are they stalkers? Yeah, they're on our side. Okay, that made me scared for a second. I thought the military broke through the blockade. This game is organic like that. Like, a lot of the gameplay is weirdly emergent. And so, it, I wouldn't put it past Clear Sky to have soldiers marching down the middle of the boulevard. I would think that gun. You got my attention. if I could have this guy take me to Corden. Yeah, let's do it. And so now that we're back in Corden, it should be reasonably easy to get this job done. That was so much better than walking it myself. God, I love fast travel. I don't know what, like back in the day in Morrowind and whatnot, they didn't have fast travel, so you just had to wander everywhere, and you just accepted it was going to take a while to get in between locations. Fast travel has spoiled me at this point, but I love it. I love fast travel so much. I can use this as a storage box for some of my stuff. I wonder what that flash drive does and where I use that at. So you got it after all. Thanks for returning the case, Merc. Now I can settle up with my client. The reason I've survived in the zone as long as I have is that I always keep my word. You screw a client in this place and you're pretty likely to find a knife in your back real soon. Anyway, enough about me. About your stalker, he was here. His name is Fang, and he was looking for tube amplifiers and some other electronic crap, but I'm not an expert in that sort of thing. I sold him the amp, but I didn't have the other stuff he was after, so I told him to visit the diggers at the garbage. Recently, some stalkers at the garbage have dug up old buried equipment from after the accident at the Chernobyl NPP, and now the place is filled with all kinds of ancient components. Look for him there. And remember, if you want to trade, I'm your man. You guys sounds good. If you need anything else, you're always well relaxed. Don't be Ah, uh, he's got the elevator electrical panel for a hundred what's in there? No idea. Alright, I'll take it. Whatever. I think I already got that one, but unfortunately since we got blasted in the back of the head. He wants ten thousand for that thing right there, huh? God, we're so close. And then we could upgrade it, too, and put, like, some bulletproof resistance on it. Oh, be so oh, he's got military suits, too. Holy shit, he's got a barrel. That's really early in the game. Wow, they gave Sidorovich the good stuff. He's got a barrel suit right now, huh? Wow. I mean, I would like to be able to afford the normal stalker suit. And so if I could barter this in, I'd be happy about it, but... 
honestly, it's going to take us. We need 1300 to get it there. I don't know if we have the stuff to make it to 1300 We might just have to wait on it. Yeah, I didn't pick up a lot of those pistols or anything either, so... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get there easily without, like, liquidating our entire inventory. So, unfortunately, because everything sells for so much lower in this title, I mean, I guess I could get there by selling some of my medical supplies, but... I'd rather have those as a backup for later. I've seen that suit on him like five times now, so I'm not going to worry about it. It'll probably be back. I'm going to break it off right here. My name is Flattercat. Thank you for joining me for the next episode of Stalker Clear Sky. See y'all later. How do, everybody?